So you're a complete beginner, you're starting from scratch and you have no previous experience whatsoever. But you've joined the real world by Andrew Tate and you're willing to put in the work. Well, here's what you need to do. There you have it, guys. The real world is officially here and it is fully operational. And just like Hustlers University, it focuses on making you earn money while you are learning. That is their main goal. Unlike other communities, they will just throw a bunch of information at you and overwhelm you with a bunch of nonsense. The real world is a little bit more practical than that, meaning that all of the information that you get is applicable, so you can genuinely put it into practice and make money, because that's the ultimate goal, isn't it? But again, let's just say that you are starting from scratch. You've never made a single letter online, but you're interested in the opportunity and you are willing to put in the work. Well, here's what you need to do first. You have to choose your skill. Again, it doesn't matter if you've done this before or not. These guys will literally walk you through the process from the start. They will literally hold your hand and also hold you accountable. And you've got four different options, ranging from copywriting to freelancing, Amazon FBA and e-commerce. And there are some new skills as well. But more on that later, we need to understand is that all of these are online opportunities, which means that your location has nothing to do with it. It literally doesn't matter where you live. And that's actually one of the most frequently addressed questions. I live in a specific country. Is that a problem? Well, let's find out. Not at all. Inside the real world, they teach you how to make money online, so it doesn't matter where you are. Your location will only change the currency of your earnings, but not the amount. And let's see that you know absolutely nothing about the skills they teach. Is that a problem? Definitely not. This is a mentoring program, so you are there to learn. Just follow their step-by-step -step lessons and guidance, and you will start a profitable business. And I'm about to help you with that as well. Now, eventually, as you progress, as you go through the levels and you start actually making some decent amounts of money with your skill, what you can do is also multiply your income. And they do have a few means of doing that, such as crypto or stock trading. But you have to get the order right. And that's actually something that a lot of beginners struggle with. I've seen a lot of people jump to crypto or stocks when they don't actually have a high paying skill in the first place. And I've been guilty of that too. I'm actually going to confess here. As soon as I made my first money online and it wasn't a lot, it was only a couple hundred dollars or so, I literally opened an eToro account and I started trading both stocks and cryptocurrency. And I clearly remember joining all of these communities, following all of these trading signals, following Telegram groups and whatnot, but it didn't work. I would just end up losing my savings, wasting time, not actually learning anything about the stock market. I still had no idea how it worked. I knew nothing about cryptocurrencies. I was just gambling. And that's what most people do. That's why you need to have a high paying skill in the first place. You need to provide value to someone else so that you can get paid. And then if you want to, you can multiply your income as well using proven strategies but do not get it wrong just take this process one step at a time because that's how it was designed right and ultimately they will help you scale your business as well and this is the final step of the mentoring it's all about fine-tuning your operations and accelerating your business growth at the same time you're growing your mindset which is equally important but again let's not get sidetracked here let's stick to the point so you're a complete beginner you have no experience we've just determined that that is not going to be an issue, but you are willing to learn. In my opinion, I think you should go for either copywriting or freelancing. You might as well go for e-commerce. You don't have to take my advice. But if I were you, if I were starting out right now, I would go for copywriting or freelancing and here is why. Let me just log into my account and I'll show you what the platform looks like on the other side. And there you have it. This is what the real world looks like. And if you browse through the main server, you will find a bunch of different categories that are rather interesting, such as personal finance or financial wizardry. But I don't want to ruin the surprise. I want you guys to discover them on your own. So let's just skip that for now. Instead, let's focus on the money making adventure as they call it. This is where you get to choose your path and you have a few options. So let's start with the first one. What about copywriting? Well, guys, this is the so-called art of selling with words. And that's precisely what you are going to do. Once you master the skill, I can assure you there will be no shortage of opportunities because there are so many different use cases for this skill. I'm talking about writing copies for email marketing, writing copies for sales funnels, writing for social media posts, social media content, the list goes on. So you will never lack work. There will always be work to be done as a high value copywriter. So that's what you need to become. And just in case you are wondering, that is how all of these beginners right here are making money. If you head over to the wins section, this is where you can get some motivation and see other people actually pulling it off. Now, when it comes to the course structure, that is really easy to follow as well. What you need to do is head over to the beginner bootcamp as they call it, and this is where you can start learning. However, you cannot just skip through the lessons and not learn anything. Once you take the lesson, you will have to also take a quiz. And passing that will allow you to level up to the 
next stage. Unless you pass the quiz, you cannot move further. So that is their way of holding you accountable. They cannot just hold your hand throughout the whole process, but they will make sure that you actually learn something and put it into practice by giving you all sorts of assignments and having you complete these quizzes at the end of each stage. That is something I absolutely love. It goes to show that they also care about the results of their students, which is a great thing. Now, if copywriting is not for you, perhaps English is not your first language, or you're simply not made for copywriting, even though I personally believe that anyone can work their way up and learn that skill eventually. It might take a little bit longer, than it takes for someone else, but it is worth it. However, let's just say that copywriting is not for you and you want to do something a little bit easier instead. That might be freelancing. If you connect to the freelancing chat here, you will see that these guys will literally help you throughout the whole process. Starting with picking a high value skill, which is so important, to picking a niche, using social media in order to increase your exposure and get in front of more people, reaching out to more people by sending DMs and building your credibility through testimonials, which is so important. But let me show you something. You see, when it comes to picking a skill, here's something that a lot of people do wrong. They pick a very broad topic. Graphic design. I'm a graphic designer. That is not enough. People will not hire you. If you want to make it as a freelancer, you want to go for a more specific niche. If graphic design is your skill, to stick to that example, you want to pick a more specific subcategory, such as meme design or animation or product design. As people say, the riches are in the niches. And that is especially true when it comes to freelancing. Let me actually illustrate that. I'm not just throwing words around. Let's say I'm looking for a copywriter. So I'm just going to connect to Fiverr.com and search for a copywriter. Here's what happens. Lo and behold, 7,700 services available. If you were to list your own gig in this niche, you have no chance. Competing against all of these verified users, all of these pro sellers with hundreds or thousands of five-star reviews, that is almost impossible, realistically speaking. I don't wanna lie to you, I wanna be 100% transparent. Making it in this highly competitive environment is close to impossible, unless you're great, unless you get lucky, or you find a way to partner up with someone else. Else. That's why you need to niche down. And here's how you do that. Instead of being a copywriter, which is very generic, you can become an ebook ghostwriter. And let me show you the difference. Remember this number right here, 7,000 services when I searched for a copywriter. Keep that in mind. So let's say that instead of labeling yourself as a copywriter, which is a very broad topic, you want to label yourself as a Twitter ghostwriter, which is a far more specific gig. That doesn't mean you won't find clients. It just means that the competition is significantly lower so you don't have to worry about it so you can actually build up your profile build credibility in your specific niche and get some sort of notoriety take a look at this if i search for a twitter ghostwriter on fiverr there are only 67 services available as compared to over 7,000 when it comes to a regular copywriter if you label yourself as a graphic designer which is far too general you will have to compete against, well, let's see, 22,000 different sellers. Again, that is insane. However, if you focus on memes, if you focus on designing memes, then the competition will be a lot friendlier. 130 services available. And that goes to show without a shadow of a doubt that niching down is extremely important. But once you have properly built up your gig, once you have found your niche, and once you really have a plan, what you need to do is leverage social media. And this is extremely important. A lot of people over look it. You see, determining someone to work with you boils down to credibility. You can achieve credibility by having a lot of positive reviews or having a significant social media presence so that people can see your previous work, they can see your portfolio, they can see testimonials and all that stuff. Also, waiting for people to DM you is not enough. You need to be a little bit more proactive about it and actually send DMs and reach out to potential clients. And ultimately, you get to build up your profile through testimonials. And these are extremely important to leverage. But again, Again, I don't want to bore you with all the technicalities here. All the information you need to know is inside the courses. But if I were just starting out from scratch and I had zero dollars in my pocket, I would invest my time into learning a high value skill such as copywriting or one of the other skills covered inside the freelancing course. That is how you make money inside the real world if you're starting from scratch. You've got all the resources you need to pull it off. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.